especially in Florida, right, they were talking about marketers. But that's not really what, what that's not really what we're talking about because a marketer, a true marketer, is somebody that um, hones a skill, that goes out and does um, the job in an effort to better, if we're talking about our industry, in an effort to provide a, a service to people that are desperate. The, the language marketer that they used in the legislature, as far as I'm concerned, doesn't address marketers. I have different terms for them that, uh, because my boss is sitting here today, I probably won't use up here. But <clears throat> those are not marketers. They're predators. They're people that, that prey off of people's desperation, uh, people's vulnerability, and people's sickness. So uh, when we use the term marketer, um, for those people that do that as a living, that they're doing it for the right reason. When we came down here, <clears throat> when we opened down here, we changed the titles of all of our marketing reps because of the negative connotation um, that it is getting, not only now in Florida, but it has spread up to the Northeast and out to Arizona and California. So uh, I know we're going to use the word marketer a lot. What do you use, Tom? What is the term that you use for your uh, representatives? Oh, ours is long so that they just use their first names, but <laughs> it's a community relations representative. Okay. Um, it, it fits better, I think, down, especially down here. Because, yes. of, because of this, why we're here. I can see the, absolutely. And actually, Tom, I'm going to have you build off a little bit on that. One of the questions I had for Tom is, so when he's looking at hiring a marketer, excuse me, community relations representative, I've oh, been school. My schooled. people are marketers, though. They, they're, they're good. Okay. Well, go ahead. Um, when, when Tom is looking to hire an esteemed professional to join his team, the, I'm curious, Tom, what do, you, what do you look for? What do you do to ensure that those people are um, ethical and will uh, uh, adhere to good business practice? Well, since I try to keep up with you in terms of flying and all of these <laughs> events, I, I'm pretty aware of the people that are out there in the industry doing this job. Um, but I do a lot of vetting. More than half of our team, and I... I we have uh, 19 community relations reps around the country. More than half of them have clinical backgrounds. Uh -huh. uh, for me and for us, that allows for them to go in and vet the places that we are going to work with. Um, we opened uh, in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, uh, this August will be six years. I can tell you that for the first five of that, uh, we didn't work with more than a dozen places in Florida. Uh, or Arizona, or whatever, in part because of uh, either I'd heard negative stuff or I wasn't aware of them. Uh, so what, what the clinician slash community relations rep offers us is the ability not only to go in and vet these places, but also to provide some assistance to those uh, professional marketers on our team that don't have clinical background. Uh, it works for us. It really allows us to... Um, to really be choosy about the people that we work with.